All right, let's put a thumb up. If you think that, that the connection, the fields that Maribel and Garvey are talking about, if you think that's related to the force, that's causing the vibrations, you're going to do a thumbs up. If you think it's probably not related to the force, you're going to do a thumbs down. You can do somewhere in the middle. What, do you mean what are you thinking? What do you mean by I disagree. Do you think what do we mean by force? What do you mean by the fields? And what do you mean by the fields? we got to see more about that. What do we mean? I guess like around it, or like a particular spot, space to it. Yeah. So it's around like where it can hit. I don't know. Where what can hit? Like the the force or the. The magnets create the sound because it couldn't be like right directly on the coil. Couldn't be directly on the coil because it's not touching. No. So maybe there's some space in between. Have you ever noticed a field? When dealing with magnets or electricity, have you ever noticed not quite touching something, but feeling the effect yeah. of electricity or magnetism? When you, yeah. uh, I, I don't know if you all tried it, but when you flip one and you can't really pull them together and you try, you can feel it like slip off. Give me a thumbs up if you try that, having magnets and turning one around so, the other way. And you can't push them together. Yeah, I tried that. Then we, and then you can put them on the table and then just do this and they'll like yes. push away. You don't even have to touch them, you just do it. And so that, is that what you guys are talking about when you say the field? So there's something that's going on in the space between that we can't see. And that's what you mean by field. What do you guys, what do you people think now, Anthony? I don't think that because if, if that was true, wouldn't it pull away from the coil? So, okay, so you're saying so maybe that's gonna push it the opposite way. So you're saying that you would feel that in the magnets? Let's say more about what you're saying. Like, uh, instead of just, what you got to say? Uh, so you have a magnet in your hand, the coil, you're putting the coil, wouldn't it push away if it was like what they just said? What do you guys think? No. Did you have thought that in your hands? So then, why did why, why if it's not magnetic, why is it connected? Why is it what? If if it's not magnetic, then what's the point of saying that um, east and like, there's two sides, the one that connects and the one that doesn't. So why why? Barney, what do you think? I think that like it still has a force like when when you flip it it's like a force but it's like a negative force what do you mean like a negative i don't know it's like it's like the opposite of like it's like when you when you flip it when you flip it like when it pulls like away it's like a negative thing okay so like we're saying like a pushing force yeah. Right. Okay. Joshua? Yeah, do you have a question? Um, when you said what you said, do you mean like if the coil isn't magnetic, what would the magnet have anything to do with it? Is that what you meant? Yeah, then I agree because if the coil isn't really magnetic, then the magnet can't do anything but just sit there. I mean, it does do something. Speak louder so we can all hear. I mean, it does do something. It makes it like louder, I guess. Or it makes it less. It makes it But the coil? Yeah, but you can't. You could say it doesn't. Ha you could say it has something to do with it. You can't really say it's like the main cause because we basically just agreed that it's the coil wasn't magnetic and she didn't respond to that. And what I'm thinking is that the magnet isn't the main thing that's making the sound. Like, like the wire is not important, but nobody's saying that that's the main thing. Well, it has something to do with it, but not everybody's focused on the magnet. So, like what I'm saying is that the magnet is necessary, but it's not the most important thing. Well, I mean, without the magnet, you're not thinking. Yeah, exactly. 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 But what I'm saying is that it's not the most, it's not the main thing that we should focus on. Like, it's not the most important piece, but it's still necessary. Like the wires are necessary, but we're not focused on that the way we are the magnet. Can you guys speak up a little bit? I think you're having a good discussion. I want us to be able to hear. What's your question, Gary? So what is the most important thing? I don't know. Could be. I think it is the one. Because it could be the coil. Because 
not the wire. It's probably the wire. Except for Mark Dallas, how does that sound a little bit? Oh, I feel like they might be like everything has like its important role to like like the wires brings like, like the electricity to the iPad or the source or whatever. Actually, I think I'm more agree with Markel. I think everything there's not like one most important thing. I think everything's sort of equal because without like the foil, the the speaker wouldn't work. Um, and without the magnet, the speaker wouldn't work. So everything is everything relies on each other. I agree because the the wires kind of have to like they they attach to the source and the magnet kind of without the magnet you can't really hear any sounds and so that's why I need like everything. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, it sounds like we've got some good ideas. It sounds like we've got some agreement on certain things. It sounds like we're disagreeing on certain things and we need to investigate more. So I'm going to tell you what we're going to finish up today with and then what we'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to get all these questions out. I want to figure out where are our questions, what can we do to answer the questions, so like what can we investigate.